Hello, beautiful friends. My name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Ruskies and Reads. It is time for the next round of the My Bad TBR game, this time for March. So let's jump right in. Now, as per usual, before we get into the next round of gameplay, I need to quickly wrap up how I did with February's TBR and then pull the challenges that I need to satisfy for the month of March. So in February, I drew six times but only ended up selecting three books because some of my draws didn't require a book selection or there was one that I actually skipped entirely because I had a jack card waiting in the wings for me. So one of the prompts I needed to satisfy was to read a debut book. For that, I chose Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. I absolutely loved this and I gave this five stars. I also needed to read a book box selection and for that I chose The Sweet Spot by Amy Popol. This came in my very first Aardvark book club subscription service and I ended up enjoying this way more than I thought I would. I gave this one a four stars. And the final book that I needed to satisfy was a book that gave me spring vibes. I was originally going to be reading Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score but I ended up starting it and not finishing it because it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So for this I'm actually going to use Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. The vibe of the newly released paperback definitely is giving me those spring feels and unfortunately I didn't love this one as much as I thought I would, I gave this one a 3.5 stars. So in terms of the February round of my TBR game, I did very, very well. I read all of the books that I selected per the prompts from that TBR game. And then I actually ended up finishing all of the other books on my February TBR as well. So there will definitely be no punishment prompt going into March. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and draw some of the challenges. Okay, so I have my little mug of challenge prompts here. These are challenges that I've set for myself throughout the year. And in order to make sure that I am reading books that will satisfy these challenges or reading the books that I have on my 23 and 23, list or the authors that I want to try in 2023. I have them all here and I'm pulling several of them every single month. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do three because one of the books already on my TBR for March will satisfy one of these challenges. So I'll go ahead and pull three and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Jillian McAllister. Okay, so I actually read a book by her already in February. It was a book club selection for a Goodreads book club that I'm a part of. So I've actually already satisfied this. So we're going to discard it and pull another one. There are probably a handful of other ones in here that I've already satisfied or I'm currently working on satisfying. So if we come up with one, we'll just discard it and pull again. All right, let's try this one. Okay, so as I just talked about, I've already read this one. So this is another one that could be discarded. Um, one of these days, we're going to draw one that I can actually use y'all. Okay, so let's try this one. Ooh, Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. I am all about this one. So I actually have this one in here because it's going to satisfy one of the buzzword readathon prompts. I was trying to select books for that challenge that I already had on my TBR for the year, but I couldn't find one that would satisfy this prompt, which I believe is to read a book with like a body part in the title. And so I ended up selecting this for that. So we'll go ahead and add this on to March's TBR. Also, I should say that I'm in the middle of currently reading a book that's already in here physically and it is a fantasy. And so if I do choose another fantasy, I will not be going with that as well. So so obviously there's a lot in here that I'm not going to be able to use. So let's see. Missing pieces, missing pieces. I think this is Heather Gutenkoff. I think this is going to satisfy a challenge for that book club that I'm a part of on Goodreads. Missing pieces by Heather Gutenkoff. So this is another good one that I'm happy to satisfy in March. All right, so those have been kind. Let's go ahead and pick a third one. John Mars. Okay, perfect. So he's one of the authors that I want to read in 2023. So I am happy to go ahead and get this one out of the way as well. Those prompts were very, very kind to me. And then, like I said, in addition to those, I already have another book on my TBR for March that is in that cup. And then I'm also currently reading Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. That is the book that I'm reading physically. So until I finish that, I will not be picking up any other fantasy books that I want to read with my eyeballs. And so I will be reading that for as long as it takes. I'm a very slow reader physically, especially since I can never have the time to actually sit down and read. So that is another one that will satisfy one of the challenge prompts that I have for myself in 2023. So in March, I will hopefully be satisfying five of those challenges, which I'm very, very happy about. All right, that took a lot longer than I was expecting because I kept drawing prompts that I can't use. Let's go ahead and finally get into the gameplay. All right, everyone, it's time for the next round of the My Bad TBR game. This time we are drawing for March's TBR. I am going to be starting with six draws, but depending on how kind the board is to me, I may be doing more. The past couple of rounds of this game, even if I've drawn six or more cards, I've only ended up with three or four books to actually read because a lot of the cards that I've drawn haven't required any books to be selected. So we are going to see what we can do with this round. So let's go ahead and start with draw number one.
I am having trouble with my focus today, y'all. I apologize. So we have red and five, and both of the active red playing pieces are over here. So if I did one, two, three, four, five, I would land on mood read. And then if I did one, two, three, four, five, I would land on letter, which is basically using a letter generator and whatever letter I select. I then have to pick a book with that first letter. And y'all know I'm going to go with mood read. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. All right, my very first draw was a number five and the color red. And for this, I landed on Mood Read. Now, the last time I landed on a Mood Read pick, I didn't actually select something in the filming of that TBR video, but I know exactly what I'm going to read this time. What Lies in the Woods by Kay Alice Marshall. So my hold from the library actually just came in. This is one that I selected for January's book of the month. And so since this came in, I'm absolutely going to be reading this in March for my Mood Read. This is a suspense thriller from Kay Alice Marshall, who I believe has only written young adult before, but I definitely wanted to give her a try because she was on my radar when I was still actively reading young adult and so when she transitioned to adult absolutely had to give it a shot so this is about three friends and i believe they go into the woods one day that's where they used to play and hang out and one of them gets viciously viciously stabbed and luckily she survives and they're actually able to name her attacker and he gets sent to prison and it turns out he was a very notorious serial killer it says the girl's testimony put away a serial killer wanted for murdering six women they were heroes and they were liars for decades the friends have kept a secret that might be worth killing for hidden in the forest but now olivia wants to tell the whole story then she goes missing and Naomi, who was actually the one that was stabbed, Naomi, sets out to find out what really happened in the woods, no matter how dangerous the truth turns out to be. So this sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm here for it. And I'm so glad that I get to finally read this in March. Okay, draw number two. Oh no, we drew a joker. So that means one of my active pawns is going to be sent back to start. Let's draw to see what color that is. red again okay that is actually very very lucky because even if one of these pawns goes back to start i still have another one on the playing field if say yellow or green had been booted back they would have remained in start for the rest of the game unless i drew a card that would allow me to get them back out on the playing field so we're safe with the red so we're going to go ahead and move one of these guys to start doesn't matter which one and now they are starting from the very beginning all right then my next draw was a joker and i selected red again and so that means one of my red pawns had to be moved from an active playing field piece back into start. So that red piece is going to remain in start until I'm able to move him back onto the playing field or so. In this case, no book was selected. All right, draw number three. All right, that was a jack. And so that will allow me to skip a prompt that I don't want to have to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and hang on to him for the future. Draw number three was a jack and a jack is actually a skip card. So I can actually skip the prompt of my choice and I don't have to deal with it. And so I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. All right, so we're three draws in already and I only have to select one book. So we may end up drawing more than six. So let's go with draw number four. Draw number four was a king, and a king is a get out of jail free card. That means if one month I don't complete my TBR as I selected it for the round of the TBR game, I don't have to take a punishment the next month if I don't want to, meaning I don't have to continue with those books in the next month, or I don't have to unhaul what I didn't read. So that is another one that I'm going to go ahead and set aside. And again, no book is chosen. All right, so far we have drawn four cards and I only have to select one book. So we are definitely going to be drawing more cards today, I think. So let's go ahead and get on with draw number five. Okay, four, that is a backwards movement. Let's see which one I have to move backwards. All right, well, this actually works in green's favor because moving that one active green pawn backwards actually puts green very close to their home. So let me go ahead and flip the board and we'll move backwards four. All right, one, two, three, four. Four. Goodreads pick. Then I drew a number four and a green and number four is a backwards movement. So I moved backwards four and I landed on Goodreads pick. Now when I added this prompt to the board, my intention was to immediately go on to Goodreads, scroll through my feed, and the first time a book popped up that I personally had on my TBR, I would have to go ahead and read that book. This is another prompt that I'm not feeling and it's not quite working out like I wanted it to. Just like with the random emoji generator that I had an issue with last round, I'm kind of having an issue with this this round. And and this is actually also a prompt that I've skipped in the past. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm also going to change this prompt to the viewer recommendation prompt. A couple of weeks ago, I created a video where I asked all of you, my viewers, to go either to my Goodreads want to read shelf or look at the video I did back in December showing you all of my own physical TBR books. And based on what you see that I want to read, leave me comments on that video recommending books that I absolutely need to read and need to do it soon. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that that 
that Goodreads choice pick is no longer there. It's my viewer recommendation pick. And so I'm going to randomly generate one of those comments and pick the book that is featured in that comment. The problem is, is because I didn't know I was going to do that until like I actively started filming this video. I don't have the capability of randomly generating a comment right now for you and screenshotting that because I film on my phone. So as soon as I get done filming, I will go ahead and do a random comment generator for that video. And once I have the results, I will pin them in the comments down below once this video goes live so that you will know what book I am reading to satisfy that prompt. So going forward, the Goodreads pick and the emoji generator pick are no longer going to be a part of my TBR game. They are going to be viewer recommendations. So if you haven't already gone to that video and recommended me some books, please, please do. You can always visit my Goodreads. It's linked down below. You can visit my want to read shelf and see all of the books that I currently have on my radar that I really, really want to read. And you can leave your suggestions down in the comments of that viewer recommendation video, which I will also be sure to link down below. All that to say, I'm not selecting a book right this very second. I will select a book once I have randomly chosen your comment. Draw number six. And we got a king again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Draw number six was another king. So I now have two get out of jail free cards, which I'm going to once again set aside and I'm just going to keep them aside until I need them. But I hope we won't ever have to need them. I hope to continue with my TBR, assuming that my yearly slump does not come. But I do have my get out of jail free card in case anything happens. Moving on to draw number seven. Another four. Interesting. Now let's see which color I'm drawing this time. A duplicate movement. Okay, so now we have to move this guy back four again. So let's see. One, two, three, four. A book with yellow on the cover. And then next I drew another number four and another green. So again, I had to move that same green pawn backwards an additional four. And that landed on the prompt to read yellow on the cover. So for this, I'm actually going to choose Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid because this was a book that I already had on my March TBR. It is the Bookworm Bitches book club selection for March. That is the Goodreads book club that I'm a part of. And so I already planned on reading it. It also satisfies one of the 23 books I wanted to read in 2023 and it can now satisfy the yellow on the cover. It's like a golden yellow but we're gonna count it. We're gonna go with it. I am a huge fan of Taylor Jenkins Reid as y'all know and this follows our main character Carrie Soto who is a tennis star. She was featured in Malibu Rising so if you have read Malibu Rising you already have an idea of who she is and I'm really interested to see how her story goes because she was not the best character in Malibu Rising. She was the cause of a lot of conflict but I have a feeling that that's going to make her a very interesting and dynamic character and Taylor Jenkins Reid just does Carrie character so very well. She's one of my favorite authors of all time and I have a feeling that this is going to just be an amazing book and I personally do love tennis. This book focuses heavily on tennis obviously as Carrie Soto is a tennis star and I believe in this story she is currently a retired tennis star but when a younger fresher tennis star is about to beat her slam record like her grand slam record she's not having it and she goes back out of retirement to see if she can keep her record alive because currently she is considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time and so I'm here for it. I'm down. I love me some Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm glad to finally be reading this story and I'm glad that it can satisfy multiple challenges and multiple prompts for me. Okay, so we've drawn seven times and I still only have three books. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try for one more book. So let's go ahead and do draw number eight. Another Joker. Okay, we are getting some very interesting draws, not only interesting on their own, but duplicate draws. So I've had two kings, two fours, and two jokers. I swear to God, y'all, this deck is shuffled and it is shuffled very well. So this is very, very unusual to me. Now we got to see what is going back into start. It really doesn't matter at this point because all of the colors only have one on the playing field. So there could be some punishments in my future. All right, my one little yellow guy who was so close to getting into his home base gets to move back from start. And then draw number eight was another joker. First, this time I drew a yellow and so my poor little yellow pawn had to move back to start. That meant all of my yellow pawns were no longer actively on the playing field. And so if I drew another card and a yellow and I couldn't move yellow, I would have had to take a punishment. But the next round of gameplay, I'm able to move one of my yellow pawns out onto start again, as per that rule where I always have one color of each pawn actively out on the playing field. Two jokers, two different colors. It was a crazy round of gameplay, y'all. So I'm going to actually draw one more time because I didn't get a book out of that, obviously. So if the next card I pull is a yellow movement, I have to take punishment because I cannot move my yellow at this time. But starting the next round, I will be able to move one of my yellow pawns out on the playing field as per my rule of always having one of each color on the board at all times. So we'll go ahead and play the rest of this game with yellow in start unless, of course, I'm able to move yellow out of start. So we will see what we get with this very final draw. All right, a simple nine. Let's go ahead and pick a color. 
green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, green is safely in their home base. Anytime I land on a square within the safety zone, that means I get to satisfy a challenge prompt of my choice. And then my very final draw, which was draw number nine, I actually drew a number nine and the color green, and I was able to move my green pawn into the safety zone. Now, I don't have any prompts associated with the safety zone because I'm going to also use the safety zone as an opportunity to satisfy more challenges. So I could look at all of the challenges and pick a prompt that I specifically want to satisfy, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and once again, choose a prompt from this because I have some of my harder to satisfy challenges in here. And I think I just want to go ahead and, and go for it. So I'm going to pull another one from here. Again, if it's another fantasy that I need to read physically, I'm not going to. Um, so we're just going to see what I get. Exiles by Jane Harper. Okay, so this is the third book in her Erin Falk series. Don't think that this is out yet. Hold please. Okay, so apparently Exiles came out on January 31st, so I should be able to get my hands on it. So that is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and read Exiles by Jane Harper. That actually satisfies a couple of prompts that are coming up in one of my reading challenges, like a book that is set in Australia. And then that would also satisfy a prompt for another challenge to read a book that is set in a place that begins with either A, T, or Y. It satisfies two prompts on two different challenges, so we are good to go there. All right, y'all. Finally, that is it. That is all that I have for this video today. That was a very, very chaotic TBR. Holy cow, that went way longer than I was expecting it to. I'm so sorry for that, but I finally have a TBR for March nailed down and I'm actually really, really excited for all of the things that I'm going to read. We're going to see how I can do. Please comment down below and let me know if you have read any of the books on my March TBR. I would love to know what your thoughts are and what you have on your radar to read for March. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post two videos a week, sometimes three, if I have my shit together and there's a third video to film and I would sure love to see you in one of those next videos. Bye guys.